this is an image that I that I just pulled, but I'm like the the royal croquet game. So I will say, um, you know, I did. We tend to sort of be beating our heads against the wall, even though I say I don't. But like. like Jason produced this really lovely uh, three talks I gave in Tucson last summer in July. And, you know, we actually got a pretty good run with it, but like, and then it just dies. It just goes to the bottom of the pile and then whatever the most current, you know, snake venom videos come up and then people are moved on to the next thing. Right. And so we have this rich body of material and it's just sitting there. Right. And I'm not like the best promoter of my stuff per se. Like once I throw it out once, like I'm not constantly pitting people over the head with it. And so someone found the, the smart cities, uh, social impact game uh, from the, the Tucson talk and distributed actually, I think on like a thread about Bitcoin. And it was it was great because this is new people who were actually seeing this. But what resonated, I think, was the idea that this was a game, that we are being put in a game. And then in this Alice in Wonderland space, you've got something that you might encounter things that seem like you think you understand what's happening like oh croquet i know how to play croquet it's like you hit a ball through some wickets oh no actually you don't use the little mallets we you know flamingos and that we're not hitting balls we're hitting hedgehogs and we're not having like the little wireframes they're cards it's kind of the same but kind of different and i feel like since the last two years that's where we're at that we think like it kind of seems normal, but then it's not. And then you're navigating with someone like the Queen of Hearts, who is, you know, off with her head, off like randomly, sort of aggressively, um, all sorts of rules of social etiquette that you don't understand and that change at will. And then there's dramatic consequences. And so I feel like as we're navigating this biosurveillance state, which will be increasingly repressive with smart contracts and QR codes and wearables and facial recognition cameras and gate analytics and all of these things. It's like if we can kind of situate it in the pop culture of this Alice in Wonderland world, like we have fallen through. And then who is our Cheshire Cat guide to be like, oh, okay, so this week the rules are X, Y, and Z, right? But, you know, uh, next week the rules might change. But this week this is what the rules are and that we're just living on condition and it's sort of like being in a giant maze which you can see sort of going off in the distance um, of the game and the game is um, try to navigate the maze and as you're doing so impact investors and hedge funds that might just be connected to some ai brain like aladdin are betting on you and there may be changing up the maze as you get through it just to, to, to get the outcome that they want